Hey guys, thanks so much for joining me today. So I've got something really cool. It's called the Warm Desk Pad. So this is like a giant mouse pad that you can roll out on your desk or your workstation. And this thing is great for people with no or poor circulation. It's also great for people that work in really cold office environments because this warms up or it heats up. So I'm actually going to be doing some testing. We're going to see how warm or how hot this thing gets. It also supposedly heats up really fast and it's got some different temperature settings. I'm gonna go over all the specs, I'm gonna unbox it, I'm gonna go over all the positive aspects of it, anything that might be a drawback or a negative draw on it, also the price, and uh, let's just get into the video, you guys. Let's see what this thing is all about, and it's just got that cool factor going on, you guys. Do me a favor, you guys, be sure and like and subscribe to the channel. All right, you guys, I'm gonna go ahead and unbox this. There will be a link in the description where you can find this item online. Let's check it out and see what's in here. Warm desk pad, user manual. That is everything in the box. Quick look at the user manual. Not a whole lot to it. Quick start guide. See it, get it laid out flat, and then we're gonna go ahead and connect it up. Plug it in. Turn it on. Low, medium, high. Alright you guys, so there's a link in the description where you can find this particular warm desk pad. This thing is called the Oladic. Hey, I just work here. But this is an 80 watt version, so there are other versions for sale, but apparently after looking through all the different ones that are out there, the 80 watt version does a little bit better. There are some 40 watt versions uh, that people have talked about online and stuff. They apparently don't put out quite the heat that this 80 watt version does. It does have the three settings, the low, the medium, the high setting. It's got the auto off feature as well. So item weight is 1.1 pound. All right, so dimensions on this pad. This thing is a pretty good size pad. You're looking at 13 inches by 31 and a half inches size wise. All right, you guys, so what's the best use of this warm desk pad? So anybody that's cold all the time, that has cold hands, that has poor circulation, poor upper body circulation, somebody that works in a really cold office environment, this is gonna be just right for them. So interestingly enough, they're also advertising on the website here that this can be used as a uh, type of foot pad. They're showing somebody there that has put this down on a hard flat floor and they've got their feet on it, which I found interesting. So apparently it doesn't damage the wires inside as long as it's on a hard flat surface. Also it shows somebody sitting on this thing on a hard flat surface. So another really interesting use they've got on the website here is there's a reference uh, where it shows a couple of pets sitting on this as like a warm pad, uh, not necessarily in like a sleeping environment but they're sitting on there and it says keeps pets from biting i'm not really sure how that works exactly i did see christmas vacation though and i know how that worked out with the cat so it does have a really cool feature so a safety feature is that after it's been on for an hour it will give you a reminder that it is on and it's warm and after four hours it will automatically shut itself down so after doing some reading that is your high temperature is orange Green is your medium temperature, and the blue LED is your low temperature. And then you touch it again, and you're back to off. Hey guys, just to give you some perspective on how much room you have with an actual mouse and keyboard on this warm pad, this gives you a better idea right here. So here's a mouse and keyboard, and just to kind of give you some idea right here. And if you want to see the video, there is a video and a link right here on this particular mouse and keyboard. Alright you guys, so I have a regular body temperature thermometer in my hand. So I'm going to test the surrounding temperature, like just the uh, wall here. And then we're going to test this warm mat on its coolest setting. So it's on the lowest setting and just see what that's at.
So the wall came up at 69 degrees. So let's test the mat. Testing the mat. Oh, the mat, look at that. It comes up at 78.6 degrees for the mat. And that's the lowest setting. Let's turn it on to medium and see what we get. There's medium. Testing on medium setting. Oh, look at that. Okay. 80.7 degrees, so not significantly hotter, but a little bit warmer. 80.7 degrees. Let's test it on a high level and see what we get. I'll give it 15 seconds on there and we'll test it again. Okay, so a little bit warmer, not like super hot, but 91 degrees right there on the mark. 91.0 degrees Fahrenheit. So, you know, definitely warmer, but not like super hot. But yeah, you know what? It feels really nice. I won't burn you, but definitely it feels like a heating pad. So, yeah. Now let's go over some of the strong points of this warm desk pad starting right now. First strong point is the price. It's very affordable. It's coming in at $21.97 right now on Amazon. There's a link in the description. Second strong point is it's very large. It is 31 and a half inches in length and it's 13 inches in width. A couple more strong points is it's got a safety feature built in where it'll shut off automatically after a certain amount of time. It's got your three heat settings, so your low, medium, and high. Okay, this also has the 15 second quick heat up. So you turn it on 15 seconds later, you're feeling that warm. All right, so another cool built-in feature is it gives you a one hour reminder after you've had it on that it is still on and it's heating up or it's hot. And then after four hours, it has an automatic shutdown. So another benefit is that this is spill proof or waterproof. So if you're working at your desk or whatever, knock over your drink, it's not gonna electrocute you. Good to know. All right, so let's go over any drawbacks that this warm pad may have. So the first drawback I can see, and this is kind of a self-inflicted thing. People with a laptop or with cell phones or anything that has a battery and that may overheat tend to set things right on top of this and then they wonder why it overheats. So first thing you do is it's just, you know, common sense. Don't put anything on this that has an internal battery that needs to breathe because it will overheat. This gets hot, as you saw from the thermometer. This gets up to 91 degrees or whatever it was, 90 something degrees, and it will cause it to overheat. So that's the first thing, and it's not the product fault because this product is made to get hot. So don't put cell phones on top of it, don't put laptops on top of it, don't put tablets on top of it because the heat it generates will cause those devices to malfunction. Okay, so one drawback is that if you have like an expensive gaming mouse or expensive keyboard or something and it's laying down flat on top of this warming pad, it can cause issues with it, it can bake the components. So if you have a keyboard, pop those legs up on that keyboard so it's up off the pad just a little bit, it'll keep that cool. If you have a mouse and it is getting cooked or it's causing a problem, which I don't think it will, but if that is an issue, get like a smaller mouse pad or something, throw it on this thing, and then that solves the mouse problem. It insulates your mouse away from the actual heating pad here and problem solved. Your mouse is no longer getting baked. All right, so another possible drawback, I haven't personally had any issues with this, but from what I've seen from all the other reviews that are out there on the Amazon website, there are some people that say this thing just gets too hot. So I kept it on low setting, I've tried it on medium setting, I've tried it on the high setting. All the settings are great. I haven't had any problem with it. Like, like it's warm, but it's not too hot. So I don't know what exactly they're doing to say it's getting too hot. Like, that's not too hot. That's, you know, as you saw on the thermometer, 
that's as hot as the thing's getting. It's got a temperature regulator in there. So I'm not sure if they're doing something different or if they've got like a portable space heater or something going on too. Alright, so there's some people in some different reviews on Amazon complaining that, you know, this draws a lot of power, that it trips their surge protectors or whatever. And honestly, uh, if you think about it, this has 80 watts of power that it pulls. And so if you have too much in your surge protector or if it's tripping your outlets or something, then maybe you need to go to another outlet or just see if you have things just a little bit overloaded. Or if you're running it on high all the time, then that could be a little bit more of a power pull than you want on one outlet. All right, you guys, so is the warm desk pad really worth the money? I'd have to give this thing two thumbs up and say, you know, if you're on the fence, totally go ahead and buy this thing because for the 22 bucks that you're paying for, it is totally worth it. My wife takes it to her office. She loves the thing. Before she started using it, her hands were like purple because they were so cold. She works in a really cold office environment. She absolutely loves this thing. So if you guys are just wondering if it's worth it, just go ahead and buy it. You won't be disappointed. This is an awesome product and I would recommend it. Thanks you guys so much for joining me again today. Please be sure and check out these other videos right here. Like and subscribe to the channel. I'll catch you guys later.